Hello and welcome to this uh, walkthrough of Folio Base. This is the overview. Uh, there are more detailed uh, videos to follow. When you've uh, installed and authorized Folio Base, this is the first screen you'll see. It's the designer page. Um, and here on this page, there are three rows of controls for the voices. Folio Base is a dual voice, i.e. two voices playing at the same time instrument. Uh, and in each column, that's column one are all the controls for a voice and column two all the controls for the second voice there. So uh, lots and lots obviously of things to do in here. You can choose vo uh, any of the voices uh, in here and there are 300, in, uh, 300 different sound sources in each voice. You can set volume, pitch, frequency. There's a volume envelope, some uh, tremolo and some vibrato controls. Uh, duplicated here for voice two, all on this row. Next row down, the middle row, is all about uh, setting the filters, turning the filter on and off, choosing the multi-mode filter, uh, adding in a filter LFO, which uh, um, operates on the frequency, and a filter envelope, which also operates on frequency. So again, duplicated over here. And down at the bottom, uh, a set of playback controls, essentially. So the send level, um, our unique slide control, uh, a little like glide, but uh, a little more than that. And then some MIDI controls for dynamics, so you can set velocity for your uh, MIDI input note, so you can uh, compensate for, in my case, or adjust for, in possibly yours, your playing style. You can set a key range, and you can set a transpose amount independently for each voice. So. Um, that's a very quick run through of what the designer page looks like. There's lots of control in here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of randomization controls as well. Um, and as I say, there'll be a more detailed discussion of this page in another video. Beyond the designer, uh, the gates. So um, here you have four gates, two per voice. Again, voice one gates A and B, voice two gates A and B, uh, where you can set uh, the different kind of gate effects that you have on each voice. Um, here's a volume based gate, so very much the classic trance gates sort of thing, but there are a whole bunch of different sorts of gates that you can set. You can uh, set the amount uh, at each step and the tempo, envelope, re-trigger and the number of steps itself that you can use uh, for each and every single one of the gates exactly the same. Uh, you don't have to have the gates on, obviously, but um, next along are a set of send controls. Uh, there are a set of different controls, uh, different effects, sorry, that you can add into each uh, um, send slot, and there are four send slots. Um, these are the send matched to the one, two, three, four here for the send levels, are the one, two, three, four for each of the actual send effects. Um, also, each voice has its own independent. Uh, four slot effects section um, so you can choose any of these uh, sort of effects and bolt them into any of the slots for uh, each voice so here we are looking at voice one here's voice two so let's go back to voice one put in a distortion say a cab cabinet uh, a rotator uh, compressor whatever you want really and obviously you can turn them off uh, same is true for voice two uh, you can do exactly the same thing, uh, set a whole range of different um, independent voice effects. That just leaves us with the arpeggiator, uh, which is our unique um, uh, sequencing arpeggiator. So uh, the, our arpeggiator, when you turn it on, will listen for the first eight notes that you press, starting at the lowest note to the uh, all the way up through eight, and then it will ignore everything after that. Um, and for each of those notes, whilst you are holding it down, it will play this small sequence here. You can set the number of steps, obviously, for this uh, to whatever you want. You can set the tempo. Uh, and uh, from this fairly simple idea, you get really quite complicated and interesting uh, uh, arpeggiated sequences coming back out. There's a whole bunch of things that you can set down at the bottom as well for uh, overall control about note lengths and panning and transposition and fade, stuff like that. Um, okay, so all of those things uh, are available to you. 
as our home range of uh, snapshots. Um, and you can just step your way through those. So Folio Bass um, has a lot of voices, um, to, uh, lo sorry, a lot of sound sources to choose from. 300 is a massive amount of, uh, of, of uh, different choices available in each voice. Uh, you combine them together and generate really unique bass uh, sounds from it. Um, as I say, there will be, watch out for a whole bunch of much more detailed discussion about uh, the kind of things that are available in each of these pages, and I've really, really only just touched the surface here. Um, but that's Folio Bass. Hope you have a good time with it. Take care. Bye-bye.